And things are so bad in L.A. County, new rules for emergency response crews could mean paramedics will have to make difficult life and death decisions in the field. KCAL 9's Rachel Kim spoke with the man overseeing those tough choices. We're clearly practicing crisis medicine right now. And really the principles of triage is to do the most good for the most number of people. As hospitals deal with the current volume of COVID patients, they're also looking for ways to increase capacity as they expect another surge in the coming weeks. City and county health officials say they're now making very tough decisions about patient care. Um, every hospital is really uh, being is under duress right now. There are no ICU beds um, irrespective of, of anything else, whether it's COVID related or not. Dr. Mark Eckstein is the Los Angeles Fire Department's EMS Bureau Commander and Medical Director. He says the latest directives given to ambulance crews by the LA County Emergency Medical Services Agency make a lot of sense given how stretched the health care system is right now. To reduce demand on hospitals, crews have been advised to not transport patients who have virtually no chance of survival. We're not talking about rationing care of who gets resuscitative efforts or not. We're talking about only transporting cardiac arrest victims who had successful resuscitative efforts. Ambulance crews have also been told to cut back on their use of oxygen to ease the strain on medical supplies needed for the sickest patients. Dr. Eckstein says the majority of patients who need oxygen are COVID patients with COVID pneumonia. Now, if the patient saturation is above 90%, we're telling our EMTs and paramedics don't give oxygen because A, it's not going to help the patient you just have to be above that threshold of 90 percent and b it's wasting a scarce commodity dr Eckstein oversees the second busiest provider of ems in the nation serving a population of over four million he tells us they're working with area hospitals and local leaders to make sure their paramedics and emts are able to respond to critical 911 calls it's not just covid the, the, the routine emergencies that respond to we respond to on a daily basis whether it's a car accident a stroke a gunshot victim a heart attack um, we have to be able to respond Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.